Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many Swift developers encounter while working with user defaults. Our viewer is rewriting parts of their app and has come across some code that uses user defaults, but they've noticed that the synchronize method is deprecated. They want to know how to properly use key value observing or KVO to observe changes in user defaults. Let's break down the issue. The viewer's code includes a method to store values in user defaults and a method to retrieve them. However, the use of defaults to synchronize is no longer recommended. The documentation suggests that instead of notifying other parts of the app manually, we can leverage KVO to observe changes in user defaults automatically. But how do we implement this in Swift, especially when most examples are in Objective-C? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To use key value observing, or KVO, with user defaults in Swift, we first need to understand that the synchronized method is deprecated. Instead, we can observe changes directly. Let's start by creating a custom class that will handle our user defaults. This class will use KVO to notify observers when a value changes. Next, we will implement a method to store values in user defaults. When we store a value, we will also update our KVO property to notify observers. Now let's set up the observer. In your view controller, or wherever you want to observe changes, you will add an observer to the user defaults observer instance. Finally, implement the observe value method to handle changes. This method will be called whenever the observed value changes, allowing you to react accordingly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use key value observing, or KVO, with user defaults in Swift, remember that the did change notification is only posted for changes made within the same process. If you want to receive updates from other processes, KVO is the way to go. It's important to note that did change notification won't trigger for changes made outside the current process. KVO allows you to observe specific keys and get notified of all updates. For a practical example, check out the demo Xcode project linked in the description. It shows how to set up block-based KVO on user defaults. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this video, we'll explore how to use Key Value Observing, or KVO, with user defaults in Swift. We'll create a reusable KVO Observer class. First, we define the Key Value Observer class which allows us to observe changes to properties of an object. It includes a callback to handle changes. Next, we have the key value observer result struct, which helps manage the observation data, including new and old values.
we also define an observable protocol to manage the suspension and disposal of observers, making it easier to control the observation life cycle. Then, we extend user defaults to add an observe method, allowing us to easily observe changes to specific keys. Finally, we demonstrate usage in a class. We set up an observer for a user defaults key and print the new value whenever it changes. You can also update user defaults from the command line, which will trigger the observer and print the new value. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. As of iOS 13, you can use Combine to observe user defaults changes. First, extend user defaults with an app BJC dynamic variable to create a key path. You can define a function that takes a key path and a handler closure. This closure will execute whenever the observed value changes. Inside the function, create a subscriber that listens for changes and calls the handler with the new value. Finally, use the publisher method to subscribe to changes at the specified key path. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.